Hello humans, this is One Winged Alien, aka Monique. Today I wanted to show you guys a small DIY project I did over the weekend. I got inspired from a TikTok video that I saw where they painted theirs and drew a design on it. So I kind of wanted to replicate something similar to that and print out some pictures and put them on top of some records to put on my wall. So for this DIY, you're going to use three paintings or pictures. You'll also need scissors to cut your photos with. You'll want to pick up some glue. You also need spray paint. In the original TikTok video, they just painted them on, but I decided to go with spray paint for this one. And then you're gonna need records, obviously. <laughs> so I got my photos printed at Staples. You can obviously print them at home, but I have a trash printer. So I decided to go and get mine printed here instead. So here are the photos that I chose to put on my records. I made them full page so that I can kind of play with the orientation of the photos and also how big I wanted to cut them out to be. So I went to Walmart to go pick up my spray paints. And I would suggest that maybe you print your photos before you get your spray paint so that you know what colors you want to use. Or you can do it the other way around and pick out whatever colors you want, whatever floats your boat. And then here are the three colors that I got for my picture. This is really pretty blue and satin, this purple grape and gloss, and then a dusty baby pink and ultra matte. I would have gotten them all in the same finish, but they didn't have that at my Walmart. Um, so I did that work well what I got. They all came out pretty good at the end anyway, so I don't think it really matters. And now on to painting the records. Um, I did mine with two coats. The blue came out pretty good. I could have just gotten away with one coat with the blue, but I decided to do two. With the purple and the pink, I had to go back and do three coats for that. So just kind of gauge how many coats you need for each color. Um, you want it pretty opaque because clearly you don't want to see the album picture on the record. You want your picture to be there. So I would say at least two coats, three would probably be best, but just kind of play around with it.
So while the records are drying, let's go ahead and measure out how big you want your photos to be. So you can obviously go with however big you want your photos, but I decided three and a half inches was a pretty good size for me. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut out the photos. I already pre-cut mine before I started filming because I was struggling. <laughs> They're not perfectly circular, but just try your best with it. They don't have to be perfect. So here are the records when they're finally dry. We're not gonna talk about how this pink one turned out. Clearly spray painting is just not one of my strong suits, but this blue one, this blue one came out so freaking pretty and gorgeous. If you can get your hands on a satin finish of any color that you choose, I would definitely go with the satin one. The purple one, it looked good. It definitely looked like it had some texture to it because again, I don't know how to spray paint clearly. <laughs> but um, I think the purple one still came out pretty. Just based off the picture that I have, it gave it kind of like a, it gave it a nice texture. So now we're gonna go ahead and start gluing on the photos to the records. Um, I don't know if it was the glue that I bought or just my technique, because clearly I don't know what I was doing with this either, but the glue didn't really smooth out the way that I thought it would. Um, I think in the future, for a suggestion, um, maybe you should smooth out the glue before you put them down. I think it'll look much prettier that way. Also, don't be like me rushing out late at night to grab some command strips because you want to film this whole DIY in one day. Go grab some command strips while you're out getting your paint and your glue. And this is the finished product. I think they came out pretty good, especially for my first DIY project. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. I have some ideas on some other music related DIYs that I want to do. So stay tuned for that and I will see you lovely humans later. Peace.